Hello, it's Booth here, and I'm talking about one of the coolest little computers that you can buy right now for cheap. It's called an Arduino, and it's powerful enough to put a man on the moon, make your car work, or create an Internet of Things device. It costs less than a dinner with your family, and it's simple enough that you can start tinkering in a few minutes. Let's learn more about Arduino. A group of engineers in Italy, led by Massimo Banzi, worked over many years to create Arduino. The idea was to give students a simple platform for electronics projects that would cost only as much as going to dinner at a pizza place. It would be made from commonly available parts, and the board would have a bold blue color to set it apart from the typical green of other circuit boards. Arduino is all about fun and creativity. One of the first projects for Arduino was an alarm clock that hung from the ceiling on a string. Each time you hit snooze, it would climb up the string until eventually you had to get up to turn it off. Other fun ideas are pet feeders, synthesizers, earthquake monitors, and drones. Google, Apple, and Amazon aren't the only ones who can do creative things with small computers. Like Massimo Banzi says, you don't need anyone's permission to make something great. I say Arduino, but I really mean the Arduino Uno, the original and most popular Arduino product. It's inexpensive because it's based on the commonly available AVR microcontrollers. These microcontrollers are special purpose computers commonly used to control car systems like sunroofs or airbags. The headers on the Arduino Uno also make it easy to connect with other electronics and it connects to your computer using a simple USB cable. They've been around since 2005, so there's an immense number of books, forums, guides, and videos to help you build your projects. One of the coolest design decisions was to publish the plans for Arduino. Ever wonder how it works? Just load up the circuit diagram, or the 3D model, or the written documentation. Want to build your own? Go ahead. The plans are free and practically unrestricted. This open design has allowed other companies to make improved designs based on Arduino. Famously, Lee Moore Freed created Adafruit Industries to do just that. The Arduino Uno has a lot of great features to make your projects work. It can run on USB power at just 5 volts, 4 AA batteries producing 6 volts, a 9 volt battery, a 12 volt car battery, all the way up to 20 volts. A built-in voltage regulator will always turn it into 5 volts for the circuits. It has a variety of pins for you to connect your customized electronics. It has 14 digital input and output pins, which can act as switches to produce power at 5 volts. Six of those pins produce PWM signals for motor speed control or for dimming lights. All of the digital pins can read digital signals, like the signals you get from an infrared TV remote. Six more pins measure analog inputs such as light sensors or moisture sensors. Even more pins are available to supply power and do specialized tasks. All of these pins have headers so you can easily connect them using jumper wires or stack a custom circuit board on top. As a computer, the Arduino Uno is a bit unimpressive when compared to modern cell phones or laptops. Even though 32 kilobytes of program space and 2 kilobytes of RAM is small, that's more than enough for nearly any project you can think of. These specs make the Arduino Uno more powerful than the computers that sent humans to the moon, and about as powerful as the tremendously popular Apple II computer from the late 1970s. Besides, there are lots of great upgrade options if you ever hit any of these limits. The Arduino Uno computer also has a lot of modern computing features, so you're not really missing out. It has interrupts to quickly respond to important events. It has timers for accurate signal, signal timing. It has a universal synchronous and asynchronous receiver and transmitter to communicate with other devices using a variety of protocols. A number of other features make the Arduino a great tool for any project. The computer chip that the Arduino Uno uses is based on the AVR family of microcontrollers. These microcontrollers have an interesting design that is different from most computers you've used. Most are meant to be general purpose computers where computer programs load into RAM and keep their data in RAM. The microcontroller in the Arduino Uno is different. It keeps its code in built-in flash memory and runs it directly from there. The code can't run in RAM at all. This strict separation makes the Arduino Uno simpler, faster, and more efficient. 
So, how does the Arduino Uno get programmed? Oddly enough, it programs itself. Even more oddly, there's a second microcontroller that tells it how to program itself. Your computer feeds the program to the second microcontroller using USB, which then feeds the program to the main microcontroller chip, which then reprograms itself. You don't need any specialized tools to program the Arduino. Just plug it into your computer using USB. The microcontroller in the Arduino Uno is a reduced instruction set computer and only has 131 instructions. This makes it a lot simpler than the Intel processor that's probably in your desktop or laptop, which has more than a thousand instructions. So why is this important? Besides making the chip simpler, having only 131 instructions means that you could learn to code it using just these instructions. Some professionals code in this assembly language to get the most out of the processor. However, most people use something like C++ to code their Arduino Uno. This is much easier. You may not realize it, but the C++ code you write on your computer is not directly copied to your Arduino Uno. We use a compiler to translate the C++ code into binary numbers representing those 131 instructions, and those binary numbers are what gets copied to your Arduino Uno. So what have people built with it? How about a plant watering system? Earthquake detector? Water quality monitor? Pet feeder? A self-guided rocket? A synthesizer? Slot machine? Heads-up display for a car? Thank you for watching my video. Please like and comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Have a great day!